Warning, this video contains footage of a giant, hairy spider. And we'll also take a look at a stunning water dragon as well. And this time, it's alive. Just outside the area where I make my videos, there's this giant spider. These are pretty common um, near the end of summer in Australia. I don't know its name, but it's pretty windy and it's just repairing part of its web. It's sort of beautiful in their own way, but man, I'd hate to walk into that and have that on my face because sometimes that's what happens when you walk around the garden at our place. If you're not careful at night, you'd have one of these. Wham, bam, straight in your face. Yeah, these are big spiders. Uh, they cast big shadows. They make giant webs. Maybe you get an idea of scale there. I mean, this thing is ginormous. I'll have to do a video one day of this guy uh, making its web. It's just amazing when you see these guys working and how fast they work and how beautiful the uh, web is when they're finished. Doing the big clean up by the looks of it, taking dirt and stuff from the web. Big night ahead for this girl, I can tell you. I don't know what's more scary, the spider or that giant shadow of the spider. And she's going to take that piece away, something that got caught in the web today. They're amazing critters when you watch them work, I tell you. Absolutely more entertainment than watching what's on TV. Probably freaking some people out, but these, uh, these ones are very common around our place uh, this time of year. Very, very common. And while we're thinking with spiders, there's another one that lives above our back door and I can see a few little spiderlings around that one. How cute is that? Well, I'm just on my walk and I've come across... That's a dragon there, a water dragon. It's obviously in a drain, which is... Uh, I dare say the place where you find it. Probably getting the last sun of the day. Beautiful creature. Sadly, it's the same sort of critter. Oh! And there they go on their back legs. And it's going up the rock. Wow! Up the rock face there. Wooshka! Gone! Well, goodbye water dragon. Well, I'm glad I got that bit, little bit of video of the water dragon. Uh, I hope you saw that it got up on its back legs as it scurried away. I actually got away with some speed as well. That surprised me. But uh, that's the way those critters work. They their defensive measure is speed. So if they're under threat, off they go. It was really sad to see uh, the critter that was very similar to that, which was uh, hit by the car uh, up the top of the road that I'm walking towards now. But I suppose that's the fate of nature, isn't it? Uh, you can't really have an urban environment and um, like hardcore nature in harmony. There's always gonna be a tragedy along the way. I better keep an eye on the ground here because there's a lot of snakes about. And that's what Australia's about, you know, drop bears, loop snakes, and giant spiders in the home. A lot of people, they come here, they see all that stuff and they go straight back home. Australia's not for everyone. I'm also working on some nature videos and I know some people like that style of video from me. They're a little bit harder to make than a toy review. But I did a time-lapse study of the spider's egg sac that's above the back door in our house. Now, what I didn't realize was just how dynamic an environment this area is. Not only for the fact of the number of spiders that come out of this egg sac, but for the things that come along uh, that try to eat the spiderlings and the things that the mother spider eats. Uh, I mean, it, it was a two-week study for me with a time-lapse video camera of this area, and it will amaze you. The things that happen in this tiny area, it's, uh, it's just mind-boggling. Um, I was actually quite surprised what came up and ate a lot of the spiderlings, but I'll keep that a secret for the video when it, whenever it gets released. And the other nature video that I've got on the back burner, and I'm not sure when this will be finished, is one where I studied the cicadas on a peak year that we had about two years ago in Australia. I only did this because there was an American video producer who contacted me after seeing the Cookie Monster and Cicada video I did and said and asked me, Leo, do you have any Cicadas in Nature uh, video? And just by chance, he contacted me just before we had a peak year. Uh, our peak years happen every seven years. That's the cycle our Cicadas are on. The gentleman that contacted me was doing a documentary on the periodic Cicada in the USA. And I think it's on a much longer time scale it's always prime numbers of cicadas it's a peculiar thing about them but nevertheless cicadas are very 
very interesting little insects. Uh, there's a lot of mysteries still surrounding cicadas and uh, tricky little things to video because they're so small and, um, and shooting these things on real trees is uh, not that easy. But maybe one day I will pull this together and make some sort of video for YouTube about the cicadas on this tree when it was a peak year versus the next year where there was basically no cicadas at all. I better leave this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.